It's good. Okay, stop. <laughs> I'm gonna get it all the way. That was good. That's the pomelo one. So this is what happens when you get irrigation the same time that it rains. Yep. We have got a whole yard full of water. We have had a really wet winter in Arizona this year, but this is crazy. <laughs> I love it though. We don't get a lot of rain here, and so this is this is nice. This is fun. Those ducks out there, man, they are loving life. So the way that we irrigate or water our yard here in Arizona is that we use an irrigation system, which is basically water that comes from the lake and comes down canals and then we open a port here at the back of our property and then the water comes into our yard. And not every property here in Arizona has irrigation, but you're really lucky if you do have it because it's really inexpensive and it's water that hasn't been treated because it just comes straight from the lake. The entire thing gets watered about every two weeks. And then if you go into the front yard. It's already kind of soaked in, but usually comes around here and then goes through a tube underneath here and then waters our avocado trees and our Chinese elm over on this side. So we're in the process of putting up this trellis for our blackberries, it's kind of falling over right now, but when we eventually get everything in there like it's supposed to be, it'll go kind of like in a curve along with our um, sidewalk. All right, so now I'm gonna go with Kevin. We're gonna go on a fun Sunday trip to go pick up a wine barrel. You excited? Mm -hmm. I'm excited. A barrel of monkeys? Yes. I'm gonna get a really pretty wine barrel because I wanna put it on our front porch now that we moved our blueberry boxes to the back. So, I'm gonna go on a fun little date, a little jaunt in the rain to pick up a wine barrel. I'm excited. A barrel of fun. Or a whiskey barrel. I can't remember which one it is, but it's still a cool looking barrel, which is all that matters. one. Now it got a little bit wet and it's a little bit rested but I think it's gonna be perfect. All right do your magic Kevin. Get it in here. Nice. You like it? You didn't bargain with the bargain lady? No I feel bad she was disabled <laughs> and I wanted her to get paid for it. Oh is that her wheelchair in there? Yeah. She gets them from wineries and then, you know, from a friend and then resells them, so. Cool. Yeah. Maybe we should get two. <laughs> okay. You're gonna drive through the whole thing, aren't you? I don't know, should we just go back out here and that way we don't have to drive? Oh, out? I don't, I fr I'm afraid you shouldn't back out. Oh, I'm watching people. Aha! We did it! I would have never been able to do this without you. Do you wanna know why? Why? Not because I don't have the muscles to lift it, because I could have totally lifted it. You could have. But With because I would have been too embarrassed to drive down there, uh, down the row with the people. Yes. All the people on each side. People. I would have felt like that was against the rules and I wouldn't want to get in trouble. Yes. So I'm glad I brought you with me because you have no fear or no cares about what people think because you're also wearing <laughs> A jacket with shorts and don't forget he's got his slippers on <laughs> you're man you are good to go it's gonna be so pretty and I think I'm gonna put a little lacquer on just the outside of it so that it kind of protects it doesn't get more weathered and it'll have just a little bit of that wood shine to it you know oh my gosh it's gonna look amazing 
So let's talk about the projects of what we're gonna do this week. What are we gonna try to accomplish this week? It's gonna probably be good weather, it's just gonna be muddy outside. We've got to plant our two big shade trees we just bought, and then we have to plant all of the rest of the fruit stuff we got. That's probably the biggest goal. Plant all that and then plant in the garden as well. Okay. And then put just tons of wood chips over everything. Okay. Sounds good to me. Have a good plan. So good. Can you go put it up there on the porch for me? Okay. Actually, I gotta sweep up there first. So hold on. You doing good? Put the hole in the back. You like it? All right, just gotta do a little work on it. Thanks. So yesterday we went to a nursery here and we got some shade trees for the goat area. And we got two trees that we already have on the property so we know they're gonna be good. We're here in the trailer, but basically we got the chamel ash. See the one back here in our yard right here? Is this is the this is that kind of tree. And then we got a Chinese elm that is similar to this tree we have in the front. I think it'll be really good for that goat area. We're gonna put some pallets around it so the goats can't chew on it when they're out in the pasture. Now after this muddy mess goes away, then we'll get to planting this week. We still have an olive tree, the grapes, two blackberries, and then we also have a loquat. So, a lot of work. Ducks are out there enjoying it. They love it. And the goats are in here. Watch, I'll show you where the goats are. Here they are. All three of them, I bet. Oh no, they're not even in there. Where are they? Oh, I guess it's kind of stopped raining. What are you guys doing? Is it all wet? I'm sorry. I know, it's the worst. Okay, Ethan, are you ready? Yeah. Pop it and pour it. Woo! Ooh. Go for it. Nice. There you go. That was pretty good. Okay, can I go? Yes. Woo! Okay, pour that sucker. All the stuff went to the top. Okay, stop. <laughs> I'm gonna get it all the way. That was good. That's the pomelo one. All right. It is? Oh, that is so good. It's grapefruit soda. That's good. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Wow, that's way good. Let's have Dad come try it since we made it for him. That's pretty good soda. Hey, Dad, come try the mellow smoothie. It still could be, it could be less sweet for me. I don't need it that sweet. The lemon lime? Both of them. Okay, come on, come try your mellow okay. soda we did for you. Mm. Mellow you. and lemon lime. I like mellow. Mm. Was it good? I think we could have made it less sweet, less honey. Oh no. Really? You want it that sweet? Perfect. All right, Liddy, pop them and then let's put them in the fridge. So the reason why we're doing this is because we don't want them to have all full pressure. They'll still build up the carbonation in the fridge, so you can close it now. Then we're gonna put them in the fridge after we popped them. Good. 